Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today I'll be doing a tutorial on how you can get shaders But instead of for the forge version, we'll be doing for the fabric version. So let's get right into it without wasting you guys time uh, We're gonna first make a pack uh, Just before that anything we're gonna put in fabric because make sure to switch to fabric if it's on forge uh, You won't be able to get the same things I'm about to do. So make sure to set it on forge Just name it test first off and then create and how you know that you're on the fabric um, version is that this pops up the fabric API so yeah um, before that uh, actually no there's no before that okay now we're gonna search up the two mods we're gonna search up iris because you don't need to download the iris uh, thing and sodium will automatically install so basically oh, there we go. so basically once you have iris iris will be here and sodium will also pop up, which is a really good performance mod for fabric. So if you use fabric, sodium is your best friend for uh, performance and iris shaders for fabric as well. So uh, you could use other ones, but I suggest not to because it's the best one for fabric. You could do Optifine doesn't work with fabric and there's probably other ones, but they're not that well known. But for right now, we're just going to show you how you can basically just get shaders on here now we could just go through here and just search up whatever shaders we want we can also go to the curse forge website which would be right here but you wouldn't know since you just press fabric and you get literally nothing but if you go to a website called Mondrith, it will it will show you which shaders you can use for iris because that's the shaders we're using and well, there's a bunch of like iris optifine the ones that just say iris you can just right here there's a thing that says iris click that for one that's just iris this one is iris so i'm probably saying it wrong but all right basically after that uh you just click over here just download and it'll just pop up right here just close all that um now we're gonna drag and drop this to our folder so just give us a second and then it'll automatically be there already for us to use and it's right here of course we could have just searched that up regardless but that doesn't really matter we just press play and we just wait for minecraft to load up and i'm just going to show you guys how you can implicate shaders into minecraft oh yeah by the way uh i never i never said anything <clears throat> okay that's annoying i didn't say anything about the version because it doesn't really matter it works to all almost all versions of minecraft so 1.20 1 point the newest one all the way to i think well if you can check i can't really check i'll check i'll we'll have these link in the description it will tell you what versions they're on but it since 10 plus it can go up to probably 1.18 maybe enough of that let's create a new world real quick uh yeah create a new world all right now this is what base minecraft looks like you know without without you know anything now in order for you to you know get the mod the shaders you want you go to video settings right we're on video settings all right just to make sure go to options video settings and you press shader pack shader packs which will be right here the last option uh after you press shader pack you just click on the shader that you already draw you can also drag and drop shaders into this but you know you can also change shader pack settings if you want if it, oh i think you have to click on okay i think it's loading uh okay it yeah so basically okay it was just loading you can change how the game you like it to be it, it was just doing this thing so you can change how the camera you can change ocean ray all that um and switch to this one you can press shader pack settings as well for this basically you can change the atmosphere lightning terrain camera processing however you want so that your game isn't like, going crazy with it i think if for those who have like i guess like lighting issues you can you can still also change the quality here if you're you're still having issues you can change the fast all that it shows you everything you want i'll just leave it as default because i can run micro it is Basically, this is how you get shaders into my, uh, the fabric version of Minecraft. The same steps, just like my other videos. I um, I will link all the mod, all the websites, and the mods you need to download. And it's quite simple. You just uh, install it, 
from the curse forge app make sure to download it or you can also um i think you could do it separately without it but i suggest curse forge since it's much easier to do and it's faster that way instead of going through like a whole long process all you have to do is download curse forge install the uh mods you need make sure you're on fabric you can also use forge but this is a fabric tutorial so this is basically how you can install uh, shaders for iris and the fabric launcher without any like extra steps and stuff if you want to know for my forge versions i have videos in on top but anyways thank you guys for watching today's video and i will see you guys in the next one sniffle out